One common holiday tradition is Hallmark releasing dozens upon dozens of Christmas movies, and this year, I've watched several of them with my girlfriend. They're not all bad, some of them are even decent for what they are, but after a couple you start to notice a few themes. Basically, they're all about two people coming together and finding love, often in the context of a frankly inappropriate workplace romance over long-lost childhood friends meeting back up, only to be pushed together by a niece or nephew he needs to learn what boundaries are. Anyway, the more you watch, the more you start to realize these aren't just saccharine romance fuel about people who learn to take their job less seriously and appreciate the things that matter. There's a dark world going on behind all these Hallmark movies. Leave aside all the commentary about the lives of these people being so dominated by work that they ruin all of their previous relationships, or fly to Alaska to get some flowers for their job as a wedding planner in Jingle Bell Bride, getting stuck there for weeks. Seriously, don't get married on Christmas Eve, it sounds like a terrible idea. No, what really started to strike me is just how many of these characters have dead relatives, usually a parent or former partner with whom they had a kid. Seriously, every single time. At least one dead parent. In one royal holiday, both have a dead parent, and the main character, Anna, was the nurse who cared for the King of Galwick, the father of the titular prince. Now, you may notice that Galwick isn't a real place, and this is where we get another hint of the dark world the Hallmark Cinematic Universe is hiding. Why are there all these European monarchies springing up? And why are there so many mysterious dead parents, generally without any cause being mentioned? Well, another theme in these movies are military members being away from their families for the holidays. It seems strangely common for a B-plot in these movies to be about, say, a kid missing their mom or dad while they're overseas. Now, this is obviously not super rare in real life, there are a lot of people who go through this, but in these movies it seems to be pretty much everyone has someone in their family who's in this situation. What's become abundantly clear to me over the course of the last few weeks is that Hallmark has created a dystopian world where Europe, with the exception of Vienna, where concerts are still regularly held, is in a constant state of war, leading to the collapse and reconstitution of small fiefdoms like Galwick, and most of the adult population has to serve in the military during these conflicts. I know this isn't what I usually cover on the channel, but it was important to me that we get the word out about these travesties. Stop covering up the Hallmark Forever War. Happy holidays, everyone.